The last time she worked in Hollywood as a screenwriter, it wasn't the best of times for her or for us. It was, in her phrase, a time of scoundrels. She was summoned before a congressional committee, the House on American Activities Committee, that was in fact a travesty of human rights. And she offered to testify about herself, but refused to speak about anyone else. She was blacklisted and for years unable to earn her living as a writer. But she returns to us tonight, her conscience intact, still a lover of films. It is with great pride that I introduce to you my friend Lillian Hellman. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you very much. Sorry. Can't seem to look at <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I had two reasons for coming so long a distance to stand here tonight. I like documentary pictures and have long had a feeling that when they are good, they are not only a high form of camera expression, but an important part of world history. The true scholar of history and the true student of history must, of course, be primarily interested in interpretation. But one can easily make a, out a case that with more facts, facts before their eyes, facts in their ears from a soundtrack, the meaning would come without wrangling and the depth of the meaning without quibble. For the young, what could be better than to see on film what is, hard sometimes, what is hard to understand sometimes in quite heavy prose? The faces, the speech of real men and women in peace and in war, in the Arctic or on a southern rock, when shown by a good and true documentary filmmaker, leave us alone to test ourselves. Such filmmakers from the very earliest days to these have often worked in danger. One thinks of the wonderful pictures of the Spanish Civil War and World War II, and they have always worked without sufficient reward. These men are in many ways the advanced soldiers of picture making, and it is possible that those of us who write or direct fiction stand on their shoulders and should at the very least say thank you. My second reason for being here is perhaps only important to me. I was once upon a time a respectable member of this community. Respectable didn't necessarily mean more than I took a daily bath when I was sober, didn't, sp <laughs> didn't spit except when I meant to, and mispronounced a few words of fancy French. Then suddenly, even before Senator Joseph McCarthy reached for that rusty and poisoned ax, I and many others were no longer acceptable to the owners of this industry. Possibly they were men who had been too busy to define personal honor or national honor, possibly. But certainly, they confronted the wild charges of Joe McCarthy with the force and courage of a bowl of mashed potatoes. <laughs> I have no regrets for that period. Maybe you never do when you survive, but I have a mischievous pleasure in being restored to respectability. Understanding full well that a younger generation who asked me here tonight meant more by that invitation than my name or my history. I thank them for that because I never thought it would happen. And to make them and myself feel better, I hope that the rest of my life will not be too respectable. The nominees for documentary short, short subjects are American Shoeshine, Sp a Sparky Green Producer, Blackwood, Tony Anzanelli, and Andy Thompson Producers, The End of the Road, John Armstrong Producer, 
Number Our Days, John Littman producer. Universe, Lester, no, Novros producer, sorry. And the award goes to Number Our Days, Lynn Littman. think of a greater honor than to receive this from Ms. Hellman. Thank you. This film was a collaboration filled with love between Barbara Meyerhoff and myself, and I think that feeling spilled over into our wonderful editor, Louis Teague, our cameraman, Neil Reichlein. Um, I'd like to thank public television for allowing me to break all the rules and spend a little more money than I should have. I'd like to thank the man I love, for not allowing me to break us up. And mostly, the magic came from Dr. Meyerhoff and from the incredible old people who led us into their lives. They gave me an image of my Jewish heritage and hopefully of the exuberance of old age. Thank you. Thank you very much. The nominees for the feature documentaries are Harlan County, USA, Barbara Koppel, producer. Hollywood on Trial, James Gutman and David Halpern, Jr., producers. Off the Edge, Michael Firth, producer. People of the Wind, Anthony Howarth and David Cuff, producers. Volcano, an inquiry into the life and death of Malcolm Lowry, Donald Britton, and Robert Duncan produces. And the winner is Harlan County, USA, Barbara Koppel. I too can't think of a greater honor than to be given this award by Lillian Hellman. Many people worked on this film, donating their time and energy, and without it, it could never have been made. But I accept this award on the behalf of the miners of Harlan County, who took us into their homes, trusted us, and shared their love with us. And it is their commitment and loyalty which is honored here tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.